Today I'll be unboxing ATEM Mini, a powerful live production switcher from Blackmagic Design. Let's do that right now. The first thing you notice is that it's wrapped in plastic. Okay, so let's take that out. Okay. Now it comes with the ATM software controller. I'm not sure uh, is that uh, on a disc or on um, a, a SD card, but we'll see what's inside the box. Here we go. Now, normally I don't like to unbox um, electronics, uh, usually because I buy everything used. There's the only exception, of course, which is this one. This is a uh, new electronics. There's only a few found in Canada, and I was able to get uh, this one. There's actually three available as of January um, 13th, and now uh, there's only two left because I bought one. <laughs> in fact, I think there's only one left, actually, and I bought it through Henry's. Uh, other uh, stores like Vistec and AV Shop doesn't even have it yet. And they're still on back order. So this is uh, pretty exciting because I'm one of the few in Canada to get it directly unless you buy it, uh, order it online through uh, Amazon or um, through the American websites. So here we have, okay, you open it up and there is the uh, menu, okay, and then there's a software installer, okay. I guess you have, it didn't, I didn't see any SD card, is there? I don't see it. No, uh, I guess you might have to, um, I guess you have to get it somewhere in here. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, anyway, there's the cord and then this different adapter head. Okay, so this is the one I'm probably gonna be using. So let's put that in now. Okay, so let's see. There we go. And the rest, I think it's, you know, a different international plug there. So let's uh, look at the type, the style, in case if you're watching from other country here. There we go, okay. So yeah, I pretty much have a complete different style of plugs. So it's international ready, I guess. There we go, and there's a styrofoam, check that out. And oh, there it is, it's pretty small. Actually, it's quite heavy. I thought it was gonna be quite light but it's uh, relatively heavy. It's probably weighing, let me see, I think probably weigh, it feels like it weighs about, you know, a kilogram, 2.2 .2 pound, I think. Okay, so there it is. And there, I don't, and there's a styrofoam on the bottom here, but I don't see that disc that they're talking about. I guess you have to download it, right? Cause I don't see the disc where, see it said, black magic is committed to reducing waste Oh, we remove SD card. Okay, so you have to download it through their website, I guess. All right. And that's about it. So there it is. And let's have a look at this. Um, okay, from the side front, you have the power. So you can plug this thing in like that. Okay, and then you can even um, use a knob to tighten it up. There is the ATEM controller. I'm probably not gonna be using that, but this one's very important. Did they even come with a cable? <gasps> they did not come with a cable. Okay, so there's something missing here. They don't give provide you with a USB-C cable. Apparently not. Okay, that's pretty, um, that's not good. And I don't see it in the box. Let me check again. Maybe I'm missing the parts here. Hold on. Oh. Nope, there isn't. Okay, so you have to get your own USB-C cable. Okay, so that's not included. HDMI cable is not included as well. So you also have to get that. But anyway, here we have the um, the webcam out. So this actually is connect, will be connected to the computer through uh, USB-C and then, and then the regular connection to the USB um, from the computer port. Okay, then the HDMI out. Now I heard that you cannot do a multi-view connection, so it's only gonna you're only gonna see one screen at a time. But the one thing I like about this is that you have HDMI one, two, three, and four input. That's cool, and then you even have mic jack one and two. Okay, on the side here, I guess this is the fan. Um, uh, there's a holes here for the fan to 
to you know blow out the fan here right nothing here same thing here there's a um, holes for the fan to move the air to move through on both sides okay so here it is the front view and you can see there is one two three four this is probably each time one two three four input and you can switch to and then you have all these buttons you have the cut auto FTB then you have this still black and then you have the t duration so when you're doing um, cross uh, fading and all that stuff 0.5 second 1 second 0.15 2 second and so on okay so you have all these mix dip and then uh, all these button for um, transition okay picture in picture key on off and then of course this is the audio uh, control on and off up and down volume I, I believe for mic one and mic two and all these feature I guess is for controlling the um, the HDMI right so let's have a look at it and also how it interface all right so here's my setup for ATAM mini here's the ATAM mini there is the webcast x2 epifan video uh, live streaming uh, device I have the first monitor that's hooked up directly to the webcaster x2 and then of course I have the secondary monitor which actually is recording what's happening right now okay that's why I have it set up like this way it looks pretty sophisticated normally you only need one monitor external monitor but I actually have two and the reason I'm doing that is because the second monitor like I said can record what's actually happening what what's actually shown at the end this is the final output where this one is showing what um, the, uh, the the monitor of the uh, live caster okay so the webcaster so that's why this is the first monitor now let's switch to the A10 mini there we go okay so the A10 mini are set up so that you have um, three currently anyway three HDMI input the first one is the B camera which was showing right now it's hooked up to the Sony A5100 uh, with a wide angle lens the 16 mils f 2.8 the second camera is hooked up to my main camera which is the Sony F S 700 R and uh, is able to as you can see you see everything here and of course the third one is showing my main desktop computer in the future I'll switch back to that yeah, here okay in the future the fourth button will be hooked up to another HDMI uh, input which could be the the third camera and the third camera could have like for example my microscope uh, hooked up to the camera or my macro uh, lens hooked up to a camera so I can see something 10 times so that's a very important feature here I could do that I could have my three camera hook up at the same time with different perspective okay or I can also switch it to my laptop as well in, in case I want to show you uh, two uh, computer system okay so three three and four that's pretty cool so it really has four HMI input now let me show you how it's set up uh, right now it's very basic I'm not going to go into detail uh, maybe I'll have another video on that but let's just look at the basic uh, function of this A10 mini so you have one two three input from the HD, HDMI signal one two three right now it's on the first one notice all the audio is off on all three okay and the only audio that's on is this one here and it's hooked up to my wireless um, uh, receiver this is the blink 500 receiver from ceremonic uh, company so I have that hook up and I have a, I'm wearing a lab mic by the way so that's what's happening that's the only audio that's coming from there and then, then let's have a look at this side here we have um, the transition it's on auto right now I just want to set it that way and so when I'm proof um, I'm pressing this button here see it's moving at 0.5 second between there we go okay now I can also make it one second and I'll show you quickly I'll, I'll probably just set it to 0.5 but let me show you what's the difference see it's a bit slower there we go okay um, you can try different uh, transition as well you can try a swipe like this one here if I press a button there we go there's a swipe like the slide is squeezed in like that I don't really like that I just like the normal mixed okay and lastly there's picture in picture and uh, if you look at this one um, the first two cameras is where you can do the picture in picture for example let's turn on there we go you can see if you turn on the picture in picture I have the uh, secondary camera on the corner there on the left 
uh, bottom corner. It's a bit small. In the future, I might, I'm going to look into the software to enlarge that to make it bigger. I think you can do that through the software uh, when it's hooked up to the main computer. So we're going to do that later on, okay? Um, switch back. There we go. Okay, switch back to uh, the A10 Mini. There's another one called Key, and that's, I think it's for Chroma Key. I haven't really looked into that yet, but I'll, I'll do that in the future. Now notice that there's actually two mic uh, input. Right now is on one mic input. So you can literally put two mic input. Let's say I actually bought this, like I said, I bought this Ceramatic uh, Bleep 500 uh, receiver, which allows you to have, uh, I bought the version that actually have two lab uh, mic. So let's say we can actually hook the other one on to this uh, sec uh, secondary mic input. You could do that as well. Okay, so that would be awesome to have two mic at the same time. In fact, even if the um, camera has its own mic, you can also turn it on here, right? But I'll do that in the future as well. So hopefully that's helpful. This is just a basic, uh, my basic setup that I put together. Uh, I really like how it's set up right now, especially having the two monitor. I, I never seen that set up before. I thought I was I want to try it, and it works really well, especially the second monitor, which now I'm recording um, as a my archive, right? So whatever I'm seeing online uh, on the stream, uh, uh, what I'm uh, showing on stream, this is it. This is what's showing here. Or if I want to just uh, record it, seeing just showing the pre-record uh, record version of the videos, it's also been recorded here, and I can upload that later on YouTube. So this secondary monitor is very very useful. All right, all right. Thanks for watching, educatetube.com.